welcome back guys it is Bronwyn yet again with Big Sky Diamond Painting here to unbox number two in my haul from the clearance sale as you can see this one is one little bite it is a Mandy Manzano I've had my eye on this one um, I don't have a particular attachment to Snow White but I really like the colors and the design of this one so when I saw it was on clearance I decided to pick it up. So we are going to take a look at this one. Um, with these clearance ones, you're gonna see a big variety in how they were boxed up due to it being clearance and them trying to, um, I'm assuming make room for new stock, although they have not really said that. Um, but I'm guessing, I'm guessing that's what they're doing. That's generally what happens when some place is doing a sale. So this is another square. I don't know if I ordered all squares. I don't think I did. I think some of them are round, but we'll find out together. I can't remember. Um, so this is another square toolkit. Um, I'm going to go over this really quickly because... If you want to see the full explanation, you can just tune into one of the other ones in the series. But we've got our plates of wax, our tweezers because it's square. This one actually came with a six placer instead of the three placer. There's our, our pointy tweezers, baggies, squishy, and the tray. Um, as always, the Diamond Art Club kits are very very nice and come in this very nice baggie that I always save even if I am not doing anything with the the stuff in it um, because I use my my fancy pens and things like that so all right let's rip into this I don't I don't save these because I actually don't worry about keeping them in the bag once I get them out um, I figure that's for shipping to keep them from getting wet. So I just put them in the box like this. So we're going to roll her backwards. Um, this one I think is going to be just really pretty when it's finished. The colors are just pretty, pretty, pretty. And um, I figure I'm set for Christmas present. <laughs> Um, your nine steps of diamond painting yet again, always rolled in there. Um, if you want it bigger or unrolled, you can always download it from their website and print it out. All right. So this is one little bite. This is obviously snow white, supposed to be snow white. Um, I think what attracts me to this painting is this blue and purple in here, but like it's just got a really nice spread of colors. So the schematics, or well, the the details, the specs, specs, that's the word I'm looking for. It's 42 by 59 centimeters. There are 33 colors. I love these little, the little dotting here of the tree. I just think this is going to be gorgeous to work on. Um, I'm pretty excited about these two because they are going to make really good work projects because they're not that wide. As long as they're not that wide, I can take it to work because even though this is longer, I can just roll it up and I don't need to have it completely spread out. So, um, I may need to experiment about how I'm going to kit it up because I don't necessarily want to carry my craft mates lockables to work or anything like that. But if I do, you know, not a big deal. So now that we've looked at, now that we're looking at the canvas, we will excuse the crinkle. Get into these drills. Um, we have one lone bag of 400. All right, so 
in our new game, we count the number of three tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I think, yep, that's actually less three ten than the last painting. Um, and then we've got our 3865 with a little 310 straggler in there. Um, it looks like these drills aren't as perfect as the last batch. Um, these do have dimples, but I think they're still probably going to be fine. Um, I don't really have too many problems with Diamond Art Club drills, to be honest with you. And, ooh, those look really good. This is one of my favorite blues, the 996. It's also one of the blues I ran out of on my my Lisa Frank leopard painting. Ooh, I don't know if I've ever seen 995. That's gorgeous. 3811, I've been seeing a lot of that in those Yahua paintings that I've done. Those oranges that I love. Okay, and let's go through this one. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, kind of a nice chartreuse, like a light chartreuse. I love this color. I had this in a painting I just did, like a Yahoo one that I just finished at work, but the drills were like bicolored, like there were two slightly different batches in there. I just went with it. It's, it was like supposed to be a watercolor, so it didn't really matter. Oh, I love these greens. Wow, quite a few stragglers in this one. There's just little dots of 890 in there. Oh, I love that green. Look how nice that green is. 740, one of my favorite oranges, and 210, a pretty lavender. So we have some good colors in here, I think. Um, this is going to be really, really pretty, I anticipate. Um, no ABs in this one. These are all just straight up squares. And I think it's just going to look really nice. Um, of course, just for, even though I know, I know it's just going to be the same. Very, very sticky as usual. Um, like I, like I've said before, if you are having a problem with the Diamond Art Club canvas being too slippery and your, your drills are slipping around, um, just, you know, lift up your, your film in a safe place and leave it exposed for 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. And that should help make it a little bit less slippery. If you are, you know, setting your painting like this and the drills are slipping off that way, without you touching it or putting any pressure on it, contact customer support because that is a problem. Um, so that was the second one. Um, actually, let me get you up here so you can see how clear. It's just, I love, the, the thing that's really nice about Diamond Art Clubs that you will start to notice and miss when you're working on other paintings is the nice transitions like they do such a nice smooth transition from color to color um like their confetti makes sense their transitions are always really nice whereas when you have another brand that just kind of charts with software you know the confetti it might look you know super realistic just like the photo because technically they're like mapping it right from the photo but it's not as nice to work on because of that so you know you just want to be you know you start feeling like you just want to work on diamond art clubs because of that um you know i'm not that far yet but it, it does sometimes feel that way anyway if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up feel free to leave a comment tell me what you think 
And if you would like to see my next video in this series, please subscribe and hit that bell so that you'll be notified. I will catch all of you in the next one. Bye-bye.